Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Creel, brand ambassador of Penseeker and owner of Creel Golf. And today we're gonna to be talking about a very, very useful topic for all golfers. And it is one of the foundational parts of the golf swing, which is the grip. We've done videos in the past on weak, strong and neutral grips, but we really haven't talked about the interlock, overlap, and 10 finger grip. And I wanna basically go over the advantages and disadvantages of each so you can apply the grip that you need for your tendencies on the golf course and what the advantages and disadvantages of each one are. I personally use the interlock grip, but it's mainly because I have small hands. But what I'm gonna do is start with 10 finger today and tell you for any beginners, 10 finger is usually one of the best because they're unfamiliar with gripping a golf club anyway. So 10 finger is usually the most common that I assign people when they first come into the bay and then we, we try that for several months and then we may graduate to a different grip. But the reason why 10 finger is so good is because it's comfortable. The golf swing is already uncomfortable enough. So if you grip it 10 finger, and what I mean 10 finger is like this, so basically all 10 fingers are on the club like you were hitting a baseball bat. So having all 10 fingers on the club that allows you to grip it pretty firm and it also gives you that feeling of a lot of control. And what that does is just helps you learn the foundations of a golf swing, how to deliver the hands, but usually what happens is your hands are overactive. So we graduate fairly quickly from a 10 finger grip to something where we're choosing between the overlap and also known as the Varden grip or the interlock grip. And again, I use interlock because I have small hands. So small hands and big hands are usually some of the primary deciding factors of which grip to use. So for your bigger hands, you'll do the overlap or the Varden grip where the pinky actually goes over the index finger on your lead hand. And then interlock is where we basically interlock the trail pinky and the lead index finger. So therefore all fingers are now touching the club again. But again, it makes it easier to wrap around a grip uh, if, if you're using interlock. So interlock for small hands, overlap for your bigger hands. Now let's go to club delivery. So if you have neutral hands like most people, um, then you can choose either one. Both of them are probably gonna be uncomfortable in the beginning anyway. So let's talk about the pros and cons of each. So if you suffer for gripping the club too hard, choking the club, and you feel like that's causing your hands to get overactive, which I mean is really getting flippy through the impact zone, or shutting the club down, which both usually come together, then you probably want to choose the overlapping. The overlapping is going to allow you to grip the club a little bit easier and actually take out the hands a little bit more because you're actually removing one finger from the grip, which therefore takes out a little control. So if you have a problem hooking or pulling the ball, you might want to try the overlapping grip and that'll help you not close the face as much and not flip as much. For those of you that tend to hit it out to the right, so say you hit big pushes and big slices, you don't turn over the club very much, then you may want to do the interlocking grip because that's going to give you a little bit more control where the club can roll, we call it closure, and it can roll through the impact zone and actually help you square up the club and give you that feel of more control. So if you're looking for a little bit more speed with the hands, a little bit more activity with the hands, and a little bit more grip pressure and maybe feel a little bit comfortable with the club in your hands, go with interlock and then go with the overlap if you wanna take the hands out, okay? But again, go back to one of the beginning things I said, you need to look at the size of your hands and what's comfortable. So go with one that is most comfortable, then move on to the shot and then diagnose it from there. Then we're gonna move on to the grip. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put your lead hand on. So for me, I'm a right-handed golfer, so I'm gonna throw on my left hand. And you're gonna notice a lot of people wanna run their thumb straight up and down. I actually wanna get it over a little bit. And when I look down, I'm gonna scoot back. So when I look down, I wanna see two knuckles on my lead hand. And I don't wanna see those two knuckles by moving my head. I want you to be in your normal position, look down and just see two knuckles, two and a half knuckles, and that means that that left hand is on there fairly neutral. Then I want you to come in with your right hand and you can do either interlock, overlap, or 10 finger, whichever one you choose. And then what I wanna see is this little crease between my thumb and index finger running up my right side. I don't want it running on the outside of my right arm. I want it running up the arm or just inside. I do not want it running straight up into my chest because that's gonna be a little bit weaker. I will tell you the neutral grip, just remind you, that may not be best for you, but that gives you a good starting point to learn how to grip the club and play from a neutral position. And then you diagnose your shots from there. 
And then if you go to a pro, they may move around your right hand and left hand slightly, either moving it more on top of the club or more under the club based on your shot patterns. And again, you can do that and diagnose it, but I do recommend you go into a club pro. So this is a very important part. I wanna remind you, Students come into my bay with swing problems all the time and they go to their path, their posture, they go to all these links of trying to diagnose a problem when it starts with the grip and they never had the right grip to begin with. It's an overlooked thing. So I recommend that you readdress and reassess your grip and then diagnose your shots. Happy pen seeking.